2007 Wrangler. Um, there's not really a video out there that's worthwhile as far as um, replacing the um, crankshaft pulley gasket. Um, it's leaking on my Jeep and um, I'm going to video uh, how to take the crankshaft pulley off and replace the gasket that is sitting behind it. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the shroud off because my impact gun, my impact gun will not fit down there to get the crankshaft pulley bolt off. So I'm gonna have to take that shroud off. Okay, I'm taking the grill off, taking the grill off first, and then the shroud comes off, so the top piece comes off. Um, your best bet, is to have this tool. If you own a Jeep, you should have this tool. Okay, I'm gonna take off the overflow. So a hose is right here, and this just unclamps for the overflow. Okay, to get to the four bolts to get to the shroud, there's one up top, one at the bottom, and there is one there's one, where's that, right here, right behind the intake. So two bolts there, two bolts there. So intake is gonna have to come off. One right there. I forgot there is a shroud at the bottom and you use Again, this tool to take the shroud off the bottom off. Okay, now we're gonna take the serpentine belt off and I did see a video, which is very convenient. Instead of using the socket, just use your attachment for your socket. Fits into the square hole. Locks into place. Actually, I'm going to use a shorter one. Give me a second. Okay, so again, shorter extension, fits into that hole. And Jake, could you uh, just grab the serpentine belt for me, please? I'm gonna loosen this up. I wanna loosen it up, just take it off one of the pulleys, okay? Okay, you're good. And my son's taking it off the, taking it off the pulley. And there we go. So I'll leave it like that, that simple. All right, so we sprayed down a degreaser on the engine block for now. That is a 15 socket for the crankshaft pulley bolt. And I'm using uh, my DeWalt impact gun and hopefully this will come right off. See you in a second. I did mark on the top of the pulley there. So we are lined up with the bolt here. Pulley's lined up and I have it lined up to the bolt. So when I install it, I'm gonna put it in the same exact spot. So I'm lining up with the, the bolt on the water pump pulley and there's my line. And I'm just gonna use the impact gun to get that bolt off. Okay, that was way too easy. Way too easy. Okay. That is full of oil. Hit the degreaser with that. that part up there. Now, if we get a look inside here, I have the puller from AutoZone, and there should be a gap. 
there should be gaps behind that crankshaft pulley is what I've been told so let me get let me get the tool okay so the tool that I got the teeth are big at the end here that's why I have to twist to turn it on so these bolts come out so I'm taking each one of them out and putting them in putting them inside there so we had a oh shit moment in our uh, <laughs> in our little car adventure. And what we ended up doing, seeing how this pulley was actually too big, I put it in there and I grabbed a hold of it like that. Okay, when I grabbed a hold of it like that, it started coming off. Well, when it started coming off, I didn't realize the pulley came off the gear. Is coming off the gear. If you come over here, Jake, look. If you come over here, you need to zoom out. If you come over here, you'll see that the pulley came apart. Oops, mistake number one. Then I remembered that I had a three jaw set puller with the smaller, ears. smaller ears on it that I can pull this thing off. So, like Jake said, oh shit, now we have to figure out how we're going to take this thing off. I think we should be able to use the smaller gear and actually get that crankshaft off. The only issue is I'm sorry, the, the pulley off. The only issue is we can't reuse the pulley. Yeah, the only issue is I have to go buy a new pulley. So, whatever. Back in a sec. Okay. With lots of yelling and screaming. Oh, nice. I got my socket inside there. Hopefully, I didn't break anything. I don't know. We'll see. So, we managed to get that on by using this socket right here. Uh, do you know what size it is? It is. Seven, seven, sixty seconds. I, know it's, I can't read it right now. It's a seven sixteenths. Oh, there you go. Or it's a one and seven sixteenths socket. So what I did, Jake, um, let me see the socket. Jake had a hammer up top and I'm below. And I went over top of this and tapped it easily onto there and just took our time. And once that was done, the Jeep book said to put some grease around it once it's flush and in place. Uh, next step is the crankshaft pulley. Okay, so what I ended up doing was actually getting a torch. And notice I broke this one. But I ended up using the torch, heating up the inside getting that pliable and I slid the balancer back on you can see balance back in place and I used my impact gun and then I used washers to push it in so it's all the way in Balancer and put a flashlight here and the balancer is all the way back in the back. So I'm gonna torque it spec and see what happens and hopefully this thing will crank over. Talk to you in a second. Alright, back all together. Uh cranked over. Sounds good. Uh, I'm gonna button everything up here. Talk to you soon.